Silence. <laughs> it's a no-no. Speak up, step up. Hello, I'm your host Lexi Burale. Today we have prepared a very interesting topic that we will discuss with you, our viewers. It is also important to you and it will keep you at the edge of your seats and hooked till the very end. To help us with this discussion, we'll have guests from year 9 through to year 12 to discuss the topic, bullying. October is Bullying Prevention Month and at Crawford we are taking this time to speak against the topic, bullying. Hello guys, and I'm your host, Abigail Gitoa, and as my fellow co-host has just stated, we'll be talking about bullying and what effect it has to our generation today. So, what is bullying? Bullying is a repeated behavior towards someone in the seek to harm, seek to harm it or to intimidate. In our discussion today, we'll be discussing in details types of bullying, overcoming bullying, <clears throat> and we'll have our fellow students to talk to us about this harrowing experience. Join us and step up. To help us with this discussion, we are joined with our lovely guest, Moka Minyaga, year 10, Abel Mutua, year 12, Keza Lalani, year 12, and John Boro, year 10, 9. We're going to start off with Moka Minyaga, who will be talking about cyberbullying. So, Ms. Moka what is cyberbullying? Um, cyberbullying is harassment or bullying through digital technologies. Uh, this can be on social media platforms and messaging on gaming platforms and gaming platforms. Thank you very much, Ms. Mukami. So what do you think starts cyberbullying? I personally believe that insecurities start cyberbullying. So when people are on social media, let's say Instagram for example, if they follow someone who maybe posts pictures about themselves or something that they're talented in, like singing or photography, and they personally feel insecure because they do not have those traits or skills, uh, they may feel the need to leave hurtful comments on that person's post um, in aiming to make them feel maybe at the same level as them or less insecure about it. Thank you very much, Ms. Mukami. So well, how do you think us as peers can stop cyberbullying? We should all be thoughtful and careful about what we share or post or comment. We should all be inclusive as we post and we should be careful not to hurt others with our words. Thank you very much. And what effect do you think cyberbullying has on the victims who have been bullied? I think the victims definitely have a hard, have a hard time. Um, they experience effects mentally, even physically, emotionally, such as maybe feeling tired, feeling fatigued. They may lose interest in the things that they were once interested in. For example, if it's singing and they were getting negative comments on the singing after posting about it. Uh, so they may feel shy um, posting about the singing even if they are genuinely interested in it or more. Thank you very much, Ms. Mokami. Over to you, Lexi. Next, we have Mr. Abel Mutua, who will be talking about physical bullying. So, Abel, in your own words, what is physical bullying? Physical bullying. Oh, physical bullying is when an individual goes out of their way to cause any sort of harm to a specific individual, to someone who they are targeting for their own reasons. Uh, well said, Abel. And how do you differentiate between physical bullying and bantering amongst peers? So first, I think it's best to define bantering. Bantering is the exchange of comments. It's usually friendly at first, the exchange of friendly comments between peers. Where, but then it can end, uh, escalate to teasing and then lead to both peers or one just getting hurt and then. And physical bullying is when one, an individual, goes out of their way to inflict damage onto another individual. And Abel, do you think bullies are people who have been bullied before? Uh, in most times, it is the case. Most bullies have gone through some form of bullying in the past and they decide to take out uh, their anger on others because of the previous bullying they've gone through, losing any sense of power and control in their lives. So what they do is go out into whatever environment they're in, uh, whether it be in school or 
I don't know, home environment and decide to gain back that power by you know, taking action such as bullying. Thank you for that, Abra. Back to you, Abby. Next up, we have Keizo Dalani, who will be talking on prejudicial bullying. So, Mr. Keizo, what is prejudicial bullying? Prejudicial bullying is where I try to, like, for example, in this scenario, overpower my good friend Abel here, um, using factors such as race, culture, and all the lots of it. So it's more like me saying, I don't like Abel. Um, you're not equivalent to me because you're not Muslim, or because you're from a different tribe or from a different religion. That's what we refer to as prejudicial bullying. Thank you very much, Keza. And what do you that do you think it still happens? I mean, definitely, for sure. Um, I think over time it's eased down, but it doesn't mean it's not there. And to this day, you still have um, that kind of like discrimination amongst cultures and traditions that go on. So it is still there, one hundred percent. And do you think prejudicial bullying can be stopped? I think like everything, everything can be changed depending on the cooperation of individuals. Then it is possible that the rest of the world will follow along because as we say, practice makes perfect. So if you're practicing um, being polite and being kind and accepting, then it will become a factor of a good thing over time. So yeah. Wow, thank you very much. I'll hand over to you, Lexi. So next up we have Mr. John Bono who will be talking to us about emotional bullying. So John, what is emotional bullying? Uh, this is the use of words to mock, shock, tease or ostracize another person. When I say ostracize, I mean exclude from society or a group. It can also be defined as any kind of intentional and purposeful mental abuse. And what effects does emotional bullying have on victims? Emotional bullying can cause someone to harm themselves physically, they get social problems, they get emotional problems, and they could even attempt to take their own lives away. Thank you for that, that's well said. And do you think emotional bullying is the worst kind of bullying because not only does it affect you psychologically, but also your whole being? It can be, it depends on how much the, the victim can handle emotionally. Bullying in the long term can hurt someone um, more than physical harm would and it can affect someone in the short term and later on in their life. So yes, it can be. Thank you for that. For that you have um, I'll go back the question back to Mukami and she'll be talking about sexual bullying. So Mukami, what is sexual bullying? Uh, sexual bullying is harassing or bullying someone based off of their sexual preference, their body, or their sexual activity. Thank you very much. Do you think boys or girls experience more bullying than boys? I definitely do think it is more prevalent among girls and women. A survey conducted in Europe showed that 81% of women reported to have experienced sexual bullying, while only 33% of men experienced the same, reported to experience the same. And do you think some boys don't realize it when they're sexually abusing a girl? Yes, because of how normalized some of these actions are, such as catcalling. Catcalling happens so often, it's so normal, so some boys may think that you know, it's it's normal to do, and they wouldn't know that that action is a way of sexually harassing a girl. So for me personally, I've learned a lot from today, and I'd like you guys to take something out of this also. So I would like to share some words um, said by Michael Fox, and he said, one's dignity cannot be assaulted or cruelly mocked unless it is given up. So we should all know, even though we are being bullied, we should also take into account that also these people are people and we shouldn't let other people put us down regardless of what the situation is. Thank you. Over to you, Lexi. So as we have heard, bullying needs to be stopped. Martin Luther King once said, we will not remember the violence of our enemies, but the silence of our friends. Speak up, step up. If you see bullying in action, stand up against it you can reach out to a teacher, your parents, a friend, or someone you trust and you can confide in. We'd like to take this opportunity to thank our guests for their thoughts and their shares. 
we would also like to thank you, our viewers, because this would not be possible without you. We would also like to thank Crawford International School for giving us this platform to share and to educate people. And above all, we would like to thank God. Stay safe and be blessed. Uh, hi, my name is Ivy Mkora and today I'm going to talk about my bullying experience. So, um, I'm saying this, you know, just so that a lot of people also feel less alone. When I was, um, when I was maybe back in sixth grade, like middle school around that time, um, I had it pretty hard because, you know, I was in a group of friends that did nothing but undermine me, you know, say backhanded comments all the time or... It was either this or that, it was always, you know, and my confidence went so low. And not only that, but like also outside school, I had like a, a, a group where like, you know, our parents used to meet, so I had to hang out with them. And they also used to make fun of how I couldn't speak Spanish that well. They say stuff behind my back in Spanish, so I wouldn't understand. So it was like in school and out of school it was just as bad as each other. They were just like, no. So... You know, that year really kind of brought me down a bit, but you know, the thing is, you can let the bullies affect you, but don't let them affect you forever. That's one thing that I learned, because um, bullies kind of feed off your um, negative emotion. Like, the more they see you reacting to their stuff, the more they want to do it again. Bullying is not a short-term thing It can affect someone in the long term and you know, you can say You can let them win in the short term like oh they hurt you fine you back off But if you let them win in the long term, that's where it's the problem is When you let them, you know affect you ten years down the line Five years down the line even two years down the line they won it's a pretty generic lyric, but um, what's her name? Kelly Clarkson said, um, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And I know it's pretty basic, but it's true. Doesn't kill you. They didn't manage to break you, so they should just make you stronger. And that's the way I kind of deal with it. Because instead of letting them push me down, I used the, I used the anger, the frustration, and I used it to build myself up. I used it to be like, ah, you know? They'll see. Five years down the line, they'll see. They, they'll regret that they ever did anything to me. And that's how you build it. You use it as motivation to build you rather than to destroy you. So, um, that's how what I could say my experience with bullying is. Mm -hmm.